it, it, he's gonna say it is she hulk time and then he's gonna join i'm about to push the join call button yeah yeah what a shock yeah Madvocate, Hello. I'm sorry, but you're no longer shocking. We all we all knew you were gonna you were gonna make that joke. I'm afraid. Hello. Hello. I don't yes, care. care. Yo, you don't. Really, really, really. No. See, really, I'm gonna make it again and again and again and again. Oh, so you're gonna pull a She-Hulk and just keep doing the same joke, even though it's incredibly unfunny. She-Hulk is hilarious. I don't know what you mean. <laughs> Scott. Someone Scott, who made that joke idea. would say that it is hilarious. Anyway, watch up. Say it. It's a difficult idea, but if you were able to get moments where I was roboting and at the beginning of this recording, play a memorial <laughs> to Robot Jeb. I... It'd be hard to remember when you were roboting and to find those because it's like scattered around and usually I'd like cut you out of the flash recordings when you were roboting, so I'm not sure if I'd be able to find it easily. I can oh. try though, it's just I don't want to really take like that long to edit this ecom. Kind of just want to have it up up uh, by next week. My concern with villagers is. I just like how Hyrus has never appeared. Two examples is enough! It's just refreshing to have fast internet now. <laughs> Yeah, now because... you're not gonna need to like leave randomly during the stream. This is actually gonna be great. I'm proud of you, Chip. Uh, I'm just gonna get my coffee because I uh I started the call as I was making coffee. So I'll be right back and then we can start. Yo, I'm back, baby. All right, are you guys ready for <laughs> She-Hulk? <laughs> Maybe. Believe and it shows. I'm just gonna play it from Google Drive because I'm not. Fucking downloading this piece of shit. Wow, Madvocate, you're not a real She-Hulk fan. No, it was it was a ruse. It was a ruse. A oh my god, How? why would you lie? People believed in you, Madvocate. Why is it half an hour? You got so much stuff to tackle. Oh no. Well, Jeb. Je oh, Jeb, you haven't actually seen the episode, right? Um. Usually, I know what happens, yeah. Usually, you it. watch before, but you haven't actually seen the episode. Uh, Madvika, do you know? Do you know what happens in this episode? Um, in terms of like the fourth wall stuff, or are you blindsided by that? Um, no, I, I know what happens at the end. Daredevil is assassinated, apparently. So, so um, yeah, because uh, I, I was uh, talking uh, to a friend recently, and it was like, yeah, I've been told about the ending. Like, I, it's, it doesn't sound really good. I'm like. Um, do you actually know what happens? Because if you actually didn't know <laughs> what this episode does, it's kind of a different story. My friend who's, you know, just like a casual viewer, mm -hmm. he, he watched the ending when it came out and he texted me, it's the friend from my streams, and he's like, right. holy shit, the ending was fucking garbage. <laughs> so it's like, even if, even if someone like that thinks that. Well, considering yeah. what she does in terms of fourth fall breaking, I would say this is like low key yeah. levels, honestly. But we'll see. Yeah. We haven't seen it yet. How can we know? We're just judging it before because, you know, we just are haters. I, I need to start the recording and say hello, everyone. So, um, hello, everyone. How are you doing? Uh, She-Hulk, the finale. I am forcing these people to watch it. Well, Jeb would watch it on his own. But other than Chill. that, yeah, I, I wanted M to share with you my... You. I wanted to share with all of you my favorite episode of TV. I haven't actually seen yet. I, I wouldn't watch the show by myself with a gun to my head. But I just thought it'd be fun because of what I'd seen on Twitter about this episode. I thought it would be something that if we watched it, it could lead to some fun discussion. Plus, Daredevil is in this episode, as is Wong from what I hear. So, curious to see Madvocate losing his mind once again with the MCU. Hold on, we need to clear the air. I need to make a statement before I get cancelled. Of course. So, in my Wong video... In the reactions from from episode three, I believe you were like, "Mad Vicky, you can't wait for Matt Murdock, Daredevil himself, to show up in this comedy. It's gonna be oh, great." Yeah. Well. This is the only oh, part of the show that I'm watching, so I don't have to worry about that. Yeah, and, and I even was a little cocky about that. Yes, but here we are. I yeah. I have so now lied. so if you come from Advocate's channel, know that he's a liar, and you shouldn't take anything yeah. he says seriously. Please unsubscribe. Yes, please. So initially, we were just supposed to watch the like post-credit scene, which is apparently where Wong 
Wong shows up, right? Yeah. Yeah, and then that somehow turned out to watching the entire episode, so thank you, Sky. No problem, man. I just, I wanted to make you happy, Madvocate. I wanted to make you watch your favorite show. I know you try to avoid it so people don't call you a show, but I know you love She-Hulk. So I wanted to do this for you. I hope you appreciate it. I love she <laughs> Jab, I think the gain on your mic is a bit too high because we just heard you say, I love she. Yeah. Well, to, well, to be fair, you could have been saying she, she wrong. She is pretty good. Yes. Women are pretty pong. Uh, see, that's, that's a fair take. I love fair. women. And I'm sorry, I didn't mean to make that sound sarcastic. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, She Hulk, episode nine, the finale. Yes. Jeb, you've watched the entire show. I will not ask for context prior because I don't care. But if there's anything you think we need context for, feel free to share during the episode, okay? Uh, okay. Yeah, from what I hear, the entire show is like just filler and none of it is going to matter by the end. But, you know, so three, two, one, play. That MC logo is getting me so pumped for this episode of She-Hulk. It feels so weird to put the entire logo in TV shows, doesn't it? I can't wait for Hulk yeah, like just... King to not be some fucking random lawyer guy. I can't wait. I was saying, like, uh, the, the Netflix and, like, for TV shows have a best way to just play, like, the very end where it just has Marvel. Oh, yeah, and um, uh, it is a show that has the, like, comics flipping and then it's just the Marvel logo. I think it's, like, three, four seconds, something like that. Jennifer Walters, Esquire, Lawyer Millennial. Um, what the? Lawyer what? Millennial, oh no. Searching for a way to balance a career and her personal life. They're actually recreating the 70s show intro. Oh, gosh. This is the recap? Yeah, it is a recap, but it's trying to be funny by referencing things, because references are funny in and of themselves, don't you know, my advocate? Um, if they really commit to it, why, why didn't they change your name? Because Bruce wasn't called Bruce in the show, he was called David. Cause I don't know said, why you said trying to be funny. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, the show's really being hilarious yeah. now, yeah, sorry. Don't make me angry. You wouldn't like me when I'm angry. Okay. The fuck? It's just, uh, there's got to be a show. purpose to it. Doing this randomly now, no. Oh, she was dreaming. Wait, she's in prison? So, uh -oh. so she dreamt of another universe, guys. Oh yeah, that's Just another universe! Oh, yeah. oh, multiverse of madness, you, why Dr. would you Strange. do this to me? No. <laughs> yeah, why is she in prison? Oh, um, because she lost it after her sex tape was shown with Josh. Oh yeah, yeah, I remember that. Yeah, you told me about it. And then damage control. You know. We need to discuss your case. This was a targeted attack. They need to be held responsible for this. They baited you and you took the bait. I was angry! So you knew how to control your anger. Well, from the defenses I've heard, it's that she was, you know, being disingenuous in episode one when she was telling Hulk that she can control her anger better than him. Well, and I wouldn't say like disingenuous. Proof. I would say that she thought she could, but she actually can't, in a way. I mean, disingenuous yeah. is that she's, like, purposefully changing the narrative. Whereas she, like, yeah, yeah. she just believes herself to be better than she is. Which could be good and depends on how they explore that for her character. We have an offer for a plea deal. The DA won't pursue any charges related to the incident. What are the terms? I stole all the food and drinks from the kitchen and I put them in your car. Because screw this place. Bro, she gets sacked. She got sacked. Don't worry about me, you guys. Thanks for the help. I mean, she, she should get work pretty easily. But whatever. The female cousin of the Hulk, popularly known as She Hulk. The female cousin. <laughs> Bro, you're supposed to be better than this. You're a woman. Don't call them females. <laughs> Terms of the deal permanently bar Jennifer Walters from transforming into her She Hulk. Are you gonna prevent? What? This doesn't make sense. Why didn't Daredevil represent her? Don't oh, know. She has friends. It's not like... kind of busy. I don't think it matters anyway, because anyone who rep would represent her would have a conflict of interest because it's either her friends or her, like, boyfriend with Matt, whatever. Should have called Saul. <laughs> you should join me. Work out buddies. No, this will be fun. God damn it, Tim. Did you laugh at the show? Fucking. Funny. I'm so disappointed. I, I, I was laughing at the woman hitting her head. I was simply, like, my inner muscle. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> The thing is, you can't, you can't <laughs> even put this sentence because in a court of law, it would ascertain the situation and her behavior when damage control did arrive. She complied to everything after they turned up, which would indicate it's a spur of the moment in extreme circumstances. 
Yeah, which should be fair, it is, though, yeah. Yo, my dirty mind thought that was something else. I also thought out. it was something else. It took me a second <laughs> to realize what it was. <laughs> Finding the identity of these guys has been like one dead end after another. We know that Hulk King is the admin on Intelligentsia, but the site security is annoyingly airtight. Do you guys know who Hulk King is? Uh, yeah. He's uh, the, the Hulk's what? son, isn't it? Yeah. When did he show up? Who? Ki Hulk King. Is that King Hulk? Hulk King. King? Yeah. Is his Hulk son? King is, no, Hulk King's um, the secret identity behind trying to take down She-Hulk. So do we know Fine. who Hulk King is? We find out in this episode. Oh, okay, cool. It's disappointing, it doesn't make sense. <laughs> it's Thunderbolt Ross, the Red Hulk. <laughs> well... Kind of also, I like. And we will destroy them by any and all means. Legally, I am going to sue them for defamation and invasion of privacy. Ugh, boring. All right. If you want to be on Jen Walters about it. I like how she's being shot on for trying to sue them when she should be trying to sue them. Yeah. Also, uh, I remember watching an EFAP and you talked about it. Isn't the video that they showed of like her sex tape, wasn't it recorded by a guy that she had sex with? And so she would know who it is that she needs to go after. Of the people she has sex with, she would just be like, "Oh, it's this yeah, person." Yeah, it's Joe. We worked together at the district attorney's office, and we dated for a significant amount of time. And let me tell you, she was psycho way before she got those superpowers. What? Why is he? Why is he lying about her? She she got you off the Megan Thee Stallion shit. She got your money back because she testified. If you say she's a psycho, you mean she's mentally unstable. So her testimony isn't valid anymore in court. What are you so saying? That... Josh just fucked himself. He would if uh, he were to, if like on a legal capacity, he was asked about it. But as far as he knows, he could mm. just like be lying to the press or whatever. Oh, that's not Josh. No, Josh is the guy that was pretending to be nice to her during the wedding. Jennifer Walters is a woman at a new low. She has no more. No, we're not doing a narrator. We're not that off the rails. But funny. Again, where's uh, where's mm. Daredevil right now? He would be right here trying to. I don't know. Uh, help, help her Smart legally. Punk. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know why he's not talking. Emil would understand. Wait, she's got a message Emil? What? 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 Emil doesn't what? even own a fucking cell phone. Yeah, that actually has a good point. Well, you said come anytime. This is a time. What? You, I mean, yeah. This up is he doesn't that goddamn Wi Fi, am I right? She has a text, that uh, devil. <laughs> I'm not running from my problems. It's a mental health break. I love character writing. Very good character writing. Thank you, show. Daredevil can't <laughs> text. He's blind. That's true. But of course, the show forgot that. Doesn't he text in um? He does. I'm making a funny. Oh, okay. I'm just trying to remember because I remember he has like text to speech shit on his phone. Um. Yeah, I think so. He he does have a phone in the show in his show. This vid of She Hulk in college. Why do people care that she's dancing? What? Oh, hey there, Hulk King. That is far too fast. I'm sorry. Wait, what? <laughs> no, wait, wait, wait. What, what just happened? So she uploaded a video. Five seconds later, she gets a message from Hulk King. Okay. Hulk King is a speedster. <laughs> He can we fast type now. like Flash does. He knows how to bypass yeah. computer processing power. Yeah. <laughs> I just need a place to stay for a couple of days. Of course, of course. I'll set you up with a guest room. Our hearts beat the same. If you say I'm the monster, what does that make you? Deep haikus. We're, we're like That's a meal. Of the way he the wrote episode. a fucking book? Of course he wrote a book. He, this is She-Hulk. It's funny. I, I guess when he was in prison... He wrote a lot of IQs in prison, maybe uh, he could have just pals. collected them, so... I need you to go in there and mingle, okay? Find out everything you can about these dweebs. Don't worry, I'm gonna be on the phone with you. Wouldn't it look suspicious that I'm walking around with an earbud in? No, trust me, you're not gonna be the only one. It would look suspicious, yes. It would, yeah. Oh, he's got, like, an AirPod, too. Yeah. That's Why is he wearing very only noticeable. one? Why is he only wearing one of them? That's even worse. Yeah, that makes him look even more suspicious. Am I crazy or was it like blinking a light too? It was. Yes. I, I think it's just as it's connecting, it blinks. If it continues blinking after he's there, then it's just dumb. Yeah. It's a plot hole though. It doesn't That doesn't happen in real life, the blinking. Stop calling, all right? Just talk. You're coming in real choppy. Don't pretend like you can't hear me. And he's talking now, like, oh, 
Yeah. And Lady Thor? Hey, guys, she just sucks, okay? And I'm yes. not just saying that because she's a female. I would have the exact same criticisms if she was a man. I love how this show makes fun of the Phantom, Phantom Menace. Mm. So great. It definitely makes sense in the universe. <laughs> like how they reference uh, Lady Thor, but this takes what? place before Love and Thunder. Oh, yeah, that's funny. Females, am I right? <laughs> yes. Uh, you say funny. females, am I right? Yes. Is this a gathering for misogynists? Yes. Okay. Apparently. Yeah, it's there on the Intelligentsia um, app, which is basically like Reddit and 4chan rolled into one. <laughs> Mother pugger. Oh, what's Todd doing here? I wonder. This guy rules, all right? You heard it from me first. He rules, and he's hot. Todd's a billionaire, by the way, and he's openly here. He rules, and he's hot. Yeah, I'd smash it. What? said he'd smash him. Let's be honest, okay? He knows who I'm talking about. Is She-Hulk better than the Hulk? His connection are working properly. I'm very confused. This is sexist HQ. It is. This is where <laughs> sexism was invented. <laughs> I wonder if we're going to meet the CEO. Why do we have to act like she earned everything? Yeah. Here's where I'm at. Superpower should go to the best person suited for the job. Superpower should go to the right person for the job. What are you... Ah, uh, show, this is this doesn't make sense. Stop trying to make fun of Nordrotic in a way that doesn't make sense. <laughs> she got everything through nepotism. Yeah, exactly. You think she boned Holloway? Yes. Yes. Like you're mad about it. Yeah, and it pisses me off. <laughs> <laughs> okay, his delivery was good. Good on you, show. How did you get involved with this group here? <laughs> Dude. I created Intelligentsia. So yeah, what, he, 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 wait, he's he okay. Yeah, I, I knew that. But he created Reddit, basically. Well done. <laughs> it does kind of funny how everyone thought Hulk King was going to be like the leader or something, and so it's just this twat. I guess it yeah. saves the leader to not be fucked up later. Well, to be <laughs> fucked up for later. Maybe he's going to be good in Captain America 4. He's a, villain, he's a villain in a Captain <laughs> America film instead of a show about a Hulk. Yeah, I don't... <laughs> It's the MCU. Who knows at this point? I'm really proud of us because we showed the world what a real monster she is, but we also showed them we're not just talk. We're real action. I mean, they're not doing anything actually, but it, it, yeah. it is a very neurotic thing to say. We're taking real action like they do I say. Don't... They're trying to save fans and whatnot, so. It's accurate. And... The problem with this twist is not like there's anything that led us to believe he was and that he hated Jen. Oh yeah, he went on a date and he was just fascinated by her. And he also hired a random bunch of thugs, the Wrecking Crew, when he's a billionaire. I don't understand how Chicken he's not boy. been, a, like, how his website hasn't been taken down or he's not been arrested for hate speech. Because you can just sign up, like, however you want. Give it up for the Abomination! Wait, what? Why is Emil here? Fuck. What? Wait, what? <laughs> Emil is a misogynist too? Why would you do this to me, show? I thought Emil was a good man now. thought he was better Wait, than this. What about his ankle tag? Oh, yeah, he shouldn't be able to turn into Abomination again, right? Because yeah, of his, his parole. He had a power inhibitor, right? Yeah, and they instantly detected it. What the fuck's happening? This CGI is he looks really so bad. Fucking... Yeah. He looks so fucking stupid. <laughs> He looks like the Goombas from the live-action yeah. Super Mario movie. Super Mario movie. Yeah. yeah. What's wrong with his face? <laughs> <laughs> he looks so weird. weird. <laughs> Do not ask for it. Be powerful. Be powerful. Did Jen just walk in? Oh my God! Not a woman. Nobody noticed. Her. Wait, this is at Emil's home. It is. Yeah. What the fuck? <laughs> Emil? Jennifer. Get her, she's a woman! Okay, how the hell are those clothes still fitting? They're stretchy clothes, I guess. These guys are intelligent. See, Todd created the site. He's Hulk King. You're Hulk King? Uh, no, doy! <laughs> I hired him to seduce you and steal your blood. My team also synthesized your blood. So it could safely give me all the powers you never should have been given in the first place. How did she not notice her blood being taken? What? <laughs> Oh no, is this guy a Hulk he used too? A, he used a very small He's... needle. Oh, I've yeah. seen this scene. It's gonna be hilarious. Oh, oh it's oh, this yeah, scene! It. Oh, it's, yeah. <laughs> this is not gonna work, right? We're not actually doing this. I mean, the chance was one in a million, as Hulk said in episode one, so... It shouldn't work. 
Oh my god, this CGI. Holy oh, crap. Uh -oh. oh my Christ, that's the worst <laughs> thing I've ever seen. Oh. This can't possibly be where this season was going. What in oh my god. Fuck? His okay. clothes can stretch quite a bit. Oh, surprise, losers. I'm out of here, man. Oh, come on, Titania too? This isn't messy enough? Titania, what? What's happening? Why did she burst through all like, oh, oh yeah, fuck again. off show. Oh, fuck off show. You can just point <laughs> out that you're a bad show, you fag. <laughs> Jet, watch out! Oh, hey, what? What? Goodman or not? Why is Hulk here? Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, okay. He's a fucking everyone is here. Basically, Emil has been doing speeches for profit, but he's not actually endorsing this. He just wants to make money. I call my cousin, asshole. It's not what you think. Is this necessary? <laughs> Wait, Hulk, Hulk's a little pussy. What? Why is he so small? <laughs> Because they were Professor like, Hulk. Weren't they equal in Hulk. size? None of these storylines make any sense. Is this working for you? Oh no, we're doing this. Oh boy. Imagine what? deliberately making it oh. a load of shit just to do that. Oh, fuck me. Hey, what do you think you're doing? This menu is not going to stop me. Oh no, this is the thing. It is the thing. Oh. I was like, what the fuck is going to break the... Yeah. What, what in hippie? Oh, I thought my recording okay. broke. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, I hate this so much. What are you doing? Okay. Yeah. What? You jump out of your own show, and then if you jump into another, you're like in a studio? What's happening? I already prefer a CGI fight amongst all the Hulks over this already. Yeah. I can't believe the big payoff is just for a fourth wall break. That's why I've been tied to a fourth wall break. <laughs> Why aren't people shocked that there's a CGI green person walking around? Weren't Abomination and Hulk like the same size? They were, but I guess Professor Hulk is smaller. I mm. don't know. From what I remember of Endgame, he, I don't think he was like smaller, but I don't know. Maybe a... Abomination's too big. Yeah. Is everything okay? Oh, they're not even like, shocked. Okay. What kind of stupid finale is this? Oh, we thought it'd be really cool and like unexpected. This isn't even funny. I can't believe they're doing like a self insert. <laughs> did you know the community season six did this, but funny? Hi, I'm Briggs Hatton, credited author of this week's episode. You might have noticed an emphasis on the topic of incest. Well, that's no accident. Not breaking out of the fourth wall, but having it's better than this. There are certain things that are supposed to happen. In a superhero story. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Oh, whoa, whoa. Why don't we just do things our own way? <sighs> this isn't funny because they deliberately wrote it in this way yep. to then complain that they've done this. Oh, look, for this concept is... art that looks way better than the actual design. <laughs> <laughs> we need to teach Marvel how parodies work. Yeah. And how satire works. This ain't it. This is the story that Kevin wants. I'm going to go talk to Kevin now. She's now going to talk to so Kevin bad. Feige. Yay. <laughs> Whoa. Uh. Oh, wow. She-Hulk. I'm here to see Kevin. Is this what the actual office looks like? I want to see some Iron Man suits. Probably does look like this. Let me just have you sign our non-disclosure agreement and then have a seat. Ugh, they're using fucking Microsoft Edge. Hey, 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 hey. that's how I get my recordings from Disney Plus, because Firefox doesn't let me record. I mean, it's the same thing on any browser. You just turn oh, off hardware well. acceleration. Wait, why are you beating up these people? Oh, here we go. Well, it's this part. Well, he's dead. Poor him. Bruh! Because she well, really needs dead. to change the ending. Know. She. Uh, well, you broke dead. her... What? He's... He, he, she will yeah, abuse yeah, these he, innocent people who are just dead. doing their job. Just to change the ending to her shitty fucking show. No, he's dead. Two they all have brain damage. They are all dead. Oh my god. And they played like upbeat music to that. Uh. I, uh, what the fuck? They just, they just have a room Yeah, they just have a room movies. that plays everything. Well, I've seen this before. Yeah. I like that it looks like Kevin has a cap and that's the extent of what i like about yeah. this were you expecting a man yeah 
Why would I expect a giant AI brain and not a man? Wait, so you're the one who's making all the decisions here? Isn't this funny? It's so funny. Oh, this is I'm so... laughing so hard that it my mic can't even pick it up. Yeah. This is a game changer for the MCU guys. Secret Wars. You must first transform back to Jennifer. You are very expensive, but wait until the camera is off you. The visual effects team has moved on to another project. Okay. The visual effects team has moved on to another project. Isn't this funny? Except she's still being shown on screen. There's no joke here. We exploit We exploit our visual effects people. We exploit them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, let's make a joke about them. them to, like, come out about it, like, them being, like, taking a piss out of them that way. <laughs> I possess the most advanced entertainment algorithm in the world, and it produces near-perfect products. Near-perfect? Some are better than others. Some are better than others, yeah. You could say that. It's my show. Incorrect. It's K-E-V-I-N's show. Well, regardless of creative ownership, can we agree that it is illegal comedy? No. I haven't. No, I haven't laughed at any well, of that. that to be funny at first. Yeah. Then I would like to give my closing argument. The Marvel Cinematic Universe. <sighs> is this an actual... <laughs> Are we actually doing... <laughs> we we, we, we no went from Daredevil. The fourth world, but, but this just feels. I, I don't want to say wrong, but this just feels really weird. This is literally them going, "Hey, we 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 know your complaints, and we're just going to pretend to tackle them. Shut the fuck up." Big spectacles and high stakes plot lines. It distracts from the story, which is that my life fell apart right when I was learning to be both Jen and She Hulk. But. But that's where you that's where it was all going in the first place. This but, is distracting what? to you, but not the two episodes about Wong that was just pointless <laughs> filler. <laughs> Fuck off. I truly heard choosing to spare Hulk King would be a big moment. Can we not do Todd gets Hulk powers? Like the powers aren't the villain. He is. But they never said the powers were the villain. Bruce swooping down from literal outer space to save the day in my story. Uh -uh. But he's not saving the day. He is supposed to return to explain what he was no, doing. No, 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 we don't need to hear any of that. Yes, we do. Uh, save it for the movie. Ah, oh, so funny. <laughs> Abomination. After all that, I just want him to hold himself accountable. Um, okay. Um, is she? Um, no, wait, is she manipulating? She is. She a is. A meal. She is. Wait, what? Is. And it's going to get worse. Oh, would not mind seeing Daredevil again. A woman has needs. She's, um... <clears throat> What's with all the daddy issues? We got Tony Stark, daddy issues. Jen. Thor, daddy issues. Loki, same daddy, same issues. Oh boy. Not same issues. Star-Lord, two daddies, two issues. How do you know? When are we getting the X-Men? I cannot tell you that. So funny. Oh, shut up. You obliterated the thrilling ending Kevin formulated. That's what Hulks do. We smash things. Bruce smashes buildings, I smash fourth walls, and bad endings. And sometimes Matt Murdock. Oh my god, I want to oh, stick her knife in my heart and twist it nice. until I stop oh, reading. Bad endings. And what is this? What do you describe this as? Great? Uh huh. Remember, she manipulated Daredevil to be there more, which, um, an implication of that is um, sex. So she's manipulated him into more sex. It, it is weird because she's just said she wants to see more of Matt. It doesn't mean she, like like she's making him have sex with her. But it is a bit weird of like basically upturning his entire life. Wait, did he just drop from the sky? What the fuck? And okay. they're gonna start well, that's a, one way, a it? And they're gonna start a relationship. So it was great though, and I'm happy to see you. See more of this dick in your mouth. <laughs> God, <the trash. laughs> this is a gray oh, now. Man. Why is it covered in like? I guess it's shit. it's scraped, right? He said it was a new suit. It, it wasn't even that damaged in, in that episode. Hi, Daredevil. I think they said that he was assassinated because he does that motion, but because Titanius, they like cleared her, even though she's like definitely not supposed to be. Like she's still a villain. Well, she fucking smashed into a court building to attack people. Yeah. So he's assassinated because he doesn't like give a shit, but she was cleared, Fast but um, she shouldn't have is the big yeah. problem. Yeah, and also like m there's the moment where Jen basically kills people right in front of Matt. Also, is it ever explained why Matt is in um, LA or? Uh, apparently it was like he was taking on a bigger case or something or it was because he was getting his new suit. Sure. It was to do with Luke. 
Uh-huh. Um, and Leapfrog. Um, Luke, Luke got in danger. Luke is the guy who makes the suit, right, John? Yeah. Mm. Oh. Yeah, no more... Um, fuck, I forgot his name from Daredevil, but he's a great character. Mar- Marvin? At least Charlie Cox is happy. At least his good blind acting is still there. At least that's good muscle memory for him. Did you see him saying uh, about um, how he auditioned for Solo, but he didn't get the part because he kept looking past his co- co-stars because he 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 had been he gotten used to acting blind for so long oh yeah i heard about that i have someone here that i'd like you all to meet this is my son scar <gasps> oh okay <laughs> we got all that off screen. Off, that's right? amazing i'm just wondering is that kid like nine or something because how can that work <laughs> it was off on sakar I don't know. So he was only there like 10 years ago. Oh, so... Also, did he... I, I don't know. She-Hulk, the superpowered woman known as the cousin of the Hulk, has been cleared of her previous conviction. Like, what about Titania? Did... If you attack, harm, or harass innocent people, I'm coming for you. Do you mean in the courtroom or as a superhero? Both. Both? That, that sounds like a threat. The difficult diva of law herself. Is that supposed to be a joke? I think so. Wow, that, that was, was great! It. Oh, that was it. Hold okay. on, there's a post credit scene. Yep. Don't worry, Loki. Madvocate's gonna be really happy when we he sees your favorite this? character. Loki <laughs> Sonali was better than this, truthfully. I mean, just the fact that she can break out of the fourth wall and just, just do this. I mean... Oh, this was the worst thing of the MCU I've ever witnessed. <laughs> Because the problem is, it's trying to be funny, and when you fail to be funny, you're really trying. It really hurts. Yes. This is this was like 30 minutes, but this felt like 10. Yeah, it's because like half of the episode was spent with her talking to Kevin and just being like, "Man, yeah, this episode sucks." And you're like, "Ha, ah, so funny, she hoke That's true. The episode does suck. It's like everything is resolved after she go talk to Kevin. It's like, oh, okay, I guess there's no conflict. Like, what's the point? Like she says, yeah. my life fell fell apart, and that's the story. But after she let she's let go of like Marvel headquarters, she doesn't face any like conflict or consequences. She's just like, oh, everything's fine now. Everything's resolved. I'm dating Matt, and exactly. life is good. It's like I oh, hope they the stay point? consistent with that power in future installments. She can just fucking erase things from Will. She's more powerful than Kang. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Emil. Oh, Wong. You took your time. Yay, oh. Wong. Oh, no. My apologies for the delay. Yeah. You got sucked into another show, didn't you? Oh, oh, no. We're really in an era of pig TV. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> What's the guest policy at Carpetage? Um, it's... Shared fridge? Kind of all one with everything. Family. What about Wi-Fi? Yeah, Wi-Fi. He's, oh, so you're he's... actually gonna break him out? Wait, but so this makes oh, no sense. Heart... Oh god, oh, break him out again? Okay, so oh, go. Suck what? my okay. cock. <laughs> I'm sorry, this makes what no this? sense. Cause she Hulk manipulated oh, Emil. Fuck you Wong. Be- because she Hulk was like, I want character. Emil to be held, to be held uh, responsible, to hold himself accountable. Yeah. So it makes no sense Not for him more. to want to escape. What? I can't believe Wong Wong did that. <laughs> right about again. God's sake. Uh, uh, okay, what was the point? Was there anything in this episode that was actually like a thing? Like a conflict or something no. that carried over? Or... I don't know. Anything. Um, I don't even know how to describe it. This episode feels like literally <laughs> nothing happened. And I hate the, the use of the word literally. <laughs> you know what's the scariest thing? The closest to a conflict was Pug trying to be sexist. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> because I guess that at least that wasn't like erased by Jen once she broke out of the fourth wall. Um, it's not like another credit scene, right? I can close this. No, yeah, you can close. I close it already. Right, so. it. Yeah, don't, don't worry about it, Matt, because we're free from this show from now on. Uh, that was an ending. I swear that felt like 10 minutes. No, nothing happened. It felt like nothing happened. Nothing happened. Surely there, I very much doubt there is anyone who actually cares about this, who actually thinks this episode is good, right? Like, oh, no, no, people are there. Check Twitter and you'll you'll have the answer. MCU fans are the best thing since sliced bread. I yeah, yeah, I don't I don't understand. 
Why would there it? was like that famous, not famous, but like very well liked tweet, I think. And it was someone who's like, who showed the scene of her saying, sometimes I smash fourth walls and sometimes I smash Matt Murdock. And then this person was like, oh my gosh, Jen, please be serious. Crying. Oh emoji. yeah, I saw that. I, I was yeah. like, dear lord. So I, cringe. Yeah, I, that tweet made me want to kill myself. Actually watching her say it in the episode made me want to kill everyone in the world. So... <laughs> yeah. I don't even know what I to just... say. Is th what? Do you want to? Do you want to know the most annoying part? The biggest arc of this show was around Abomination, and they just regressed it. We're back to square one with him. I mean, yeah, we're back to. I guess mm -hmm. maybe he's a good guy, but he's now being hunted by the police. But he he's not going to hold himself accountable. Is it now? Wong broke him out like he did in Shang Chi, because. Why not? I guess. But how did how did it, um how did Wong even like talk to Emil to know that Emil wanted to be broken out of prison? Because Emil was like, "You took your time." And why didn't Wong just do it immediately? Because he has a ring. If he the moment he's contacted, he'd be like, "Oh, okay, I'm gonna do it now." Um, Unless I guess he was like through the pen pal program. Fucking Emil sent him a letter, and it took like weeks for Wong to get around to that letter because he was too busy watching a TV show, I guess. So, I'm like, yeah. Yeah, the but excuse is it... always The Sopranos. Yeah. Not yeah, yeah, and I'm like, well, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't have been surprised if, like, he walked up at the portal, portal said, sorry, I'm late, I was watching Breaking Bad. Yeah, I mean, yeah, he said, he just said he was uh, sucked into another show because when we're in the era of peak TV, which is fucking hilarious to hear that. Oh, did he say from... another show? Yeah, uh, Emil yeah, said, oh, did you get sucked into another show? And Wong said, yeah, we're an era of peak TV, you know. Which is true, but hearing that from um, Wong inside She-Hulk is a, you know, yeah. God damn, hearing him remembering the Sopranos part fucking infuriates me. Because <laughs> that's the only reason he went after fucking Donny Blaze. Donnie Blaze. Yeah. Just because yeah. he got spoiled for him, not because he's a rogue fucking... Magician with a sling ring. Yeah. Uh, it's absolute there's nothing what are those? Uh, genuinely, uh, there's uh, actually nothing good about this episode. I apart did... from I guess Ch Charlie Cox is acting. There was that moment that I left when Pug said something. I thought his delivery was funny. Um, uh, that Jen's... Was second. I'm not... Jen's actress <laughs> is hot and when she's not she hulk, I like looking at her. So that's a big positive. She is a very beautiful woman. Yeah. When are we going to get the X-Men? Yeah, funny. It's just like this episode is like... It, it literally feels like fan fiction from like a Marvel show. It feels which might be what Jessica Gao is, but whatever. Because like she goes <laughs> up and talks to Kevin Feige, tells him what she wants her own story to be, basically making her like... A giant Mary Sue, so whatever, and being like, I oh, know I want the story to be about me, not about all these other things that are like relate to the larger universe. And then, like, says, Oh, I want this character, uh, who I've had sex with to come back so I can fuck him more. Oh, I want these characters who don't like sky. me, yeah. And it's like, Oh, I want these characters, like Abomination, who did bad things to you know hold themselves accountable because I control other people's lives and I know how they should feel. It's just like... And then he agrees to go with Wong. Yeah, and it's just Fuck like... Fuck you. If... If she actually... Like, if the arc was that she lear she had... She would need to learn that being a Hulk and actually, like, being on, pub on a public setting would mean that she needs to learn to control her anger more than she thought and that her assumptions based on being a woman were incorrect in episode one. None of that is in this episode. It's just dropped. So, like, yeah, I agree with what Madvik had said earlier in the episode. It's like, oh, you know, she might have been, like, wrong from what she said in episode one, and that she's actually, like, angrier than, you know, whatever. None of that is relevant to the, the rest of the episode. Like, there's nothing in this episode that actually makes me think, ah, this is connected to the rest of the show. It's just things happen. She breaks out of the fourth wall. She gets everything she wants. And by the end, she's happy because we skipped the part where she actually faced any consequence for anything that she did. And the worst bit to me is the thing that causes it they could have avoided entirely you didn't need abomination to do a speech you didn't need titania to run in you didn't need hope to suddenly appear through the ceiling i i, I don't understand you could still have the story you claim you wanted <laughs> yeah they did they did all of that just so they could have the bullshit fourth wall break into hq scene 
Yeah, so rather write something completely different. They forced the, it the to setup for it was entirely contrived. Yeah, they didn't need Todd to eject himself with the fucking thing. You know. Uh, also, here's how like, you do okay, that. so hold on. Uh, they stole her blood and created a serum, but because she said, "Oh, I don't want him Todd to become a Hulk," does that mean that they don't have the serum anymore? Or that he just never injected himself with it? Like, what does this change in terms of actual canon in the MCU? Like, did she just manipulate he, events prior, but she still remembers everything? Or did she, like, just change the fact that he injected himself, but the the serum still exists? I, I don't think the MCU is ever going to try to, like, answer that question. But, you know, like, they, it, they, I have no clue what is actually canon after this episode, basically. Well, to see it as this, she has to have changed prior events, because otherwise if the serum still exists, someone's going to eject themselves with it. Yeah, and obviously Todd would because it's in his character, unless she also changed his character like she tried to do with Abomination, but I guess it didn't work with Abomination because he does break out of prison. I don't know. Things happen in this episode. Anyway, Jeb, I, I, I interrupted you. Go on. If I were the writer and I'm like, okay, I want this to deal with the inter interpersonal conflict of She-Hulk and her anger and such, I would have the serum fail on Todd and she has to make a choice of whether to save him or not. That could actually Due be really anger. interesting, yeah. But, no, I guess not. And that took me five <laughs> seconds to come up with. I don't, I don't understand. <laughs> Can I just point out as well, mm. that for the first time in, what, 14 years, that was the first time we've seen a rematch between Hulk and Abomination. Yeah, yeah they fight for two seconds. Interrupted. Yeah, they fight for two seconds, Hulk is like a tiny little baby. Why are they fighting even? <laughs> I don't know. It's the most he, thing he's mad seen. at Abomination. Why? Why would he be mad at Todd? Because he Abom almost killed him. Like, Ab didn't Abomination fucking apologize? And it looked like he was trying to hurt her, so it was like, get off my cousin, you you fishy face. Apology uh, oh. not accepted. Yeah, so Bruce is just <laughs> retarded. <laughs> Yeah, but... The genius <laughs> level brain that Marshall. could create fucking Ultron with Tony Stark doesn't know that <laughs> the Abomination was helping uh, the person that got him fucking on, out of him parole. God damn it, this is so dumb. Why would he fucking attack Jen? Just fucking use your brain, Bruce. Was the there an, uh... smart one is somehow the, somehow the stupidest. Hmm. Who the fuck? Was there an explanation as to why he didn't have his power dampener? The donation? No. No, no. no, no. He he just no. can't turn. So here's the thing: the, do they say he has a power? Or he he's gonna wear a power dampener after he goes out on parole? Or do they just say if you turn back I'm into abomination, sure. you're fucked? Because so I don't remember what they, what they say exactly. They have they have a bracelet thing that can detect basically where he is, and either way, this would snap off if he becomes abomination. Of course, and but um, all... does it just oh, detect so it or does it dampen it's it? Just a... Yeah. I don't. I don't think it's an outright inhibitor. Okay. I don't remember. So well, there's the answer. So I guess he didn't have an inhibitor. He just found a way to bypass the bracelet, which is just kind of makes you think, hey, maybe you shouldn't let abomination out on Burrow. Yeah. Like, hey, well, what that do does I make know? sense with their dialogue, I think, because they they kind of like threaten him about turning back into abomination, mm -hmm. but it's like they wouldn't have to do that if, if they his had power dampening. Ankle thing. monitor could actually inhibit his power. Yeah, as far as I know, the only person who has a power dampening thing is Hulk, as you mentioned in episode one. And considering he left to Sakaar, uh, he wouldn't... Like, they wouldn't be able to access the technology from Bruce. Though it is weird that Bruce hasn't, like, provided that type of technology to the government so that they can, like, keep Abomination in check so that he can actually go out on parole. Because if Emil uh, Blonsky actually wants to, like be reinstated i don't see why bruce would be like against dampening his cuff uh, dampening his power is the same as a meal dampening his own powers if he can be a free man but it's i don't know the mcu I, they probably didn't think of this when they were writing they just wanted the funny just gonna break this inhibitor real quick <laughs> Also, um, did they just, did they resolve the Wrecking Crew shit, like, previously? Or is it just, is oh, yeah. Todd getting arrested just the end of the Wrecking um, Crew, I guess? The, I, I don't know. One <laughs> of the members of the Wrecking Crew redeemed themselves. Okay. Um, in, the, in the retreat episode, uh -huh. they repented. The rest, uh, 
So what? so we don't know, I guess, about any of we, the show. We, we definitely d- d- don't know. Okay. Fun. This is a very good um, show. It's an inhibitor. Wait, so he does have an inhibitor? They got a malfunction alert on Foxy's <laughs> inhibitor, and then um, She-Hulk goes, oh, did he turn it to abomination? They go, we don't know. So... And they just don't then decide to like check on him. Yeah, what episode and is this? Th- they did in episode seven. Um, they got She Hulk to do it. Right, and then once she uh, checked on him, she would have. Wait, he's not just checking on him. She would have to bring him back to like the parole board and like to like install uh, a different thing and like make sure yeah. that he hasn't done he hasn't turned into abomination probably you ha- ha- need to bring like a witness to attest that he hasn't turned in that time because are you saying nobody with abomination. authority checked in on abomination once it was detected he turned well, it wasn't so detected explain, it turned it so... was detected that his inhibitor was malfunctioning so they didn't know if yeah. he actually turned or not so they would to... still check so on to... him. yeah they send jen to talk to him but the thing is, yeah. they shouldn't just send Jen to talk to him. They should send yeah. Jen and be like, "Hey, we're going, uh, we're going to, you know, prepare a case to present to the parole board. We're going to need a witness to prove that you haven't turned into abomination in the time uh, between your um, anchor monitor not working, uh, so that we can, uh, you know, prove that you haven't violated the parole rules, and so they could actually put another anchor monitor on him because yeah, that's just basically, how." But it- Basically, lo- basic logic works. Instead, so what happens is she does this retreat with him mm-hmm. and never return, never brings him back. That's in episode seven. So surely they d- they'd ask her shit, right? After that, they would. The ultimately he should have been brought in, <laughs> and ultimately in this episode he shouldn't have been able to turn into abomination. And they state he's been doing it prior because he's been doing speeches. Yeah. Wait, so sh- uh, like uh... they say, hey. hey. Uh, Jen, go talk to your client, and then she just doesn't come back with the the client, or doesn't come back with like news about the client about the fucking angle monitor. Like, surely this is uh, this, this like this happen. could get her this bar. This seems like something that would get her this bar. The news has to have happened off screen, I guess, but we never actually see it. Mm-hmm. I guess we just have to assume right. that everything that makes sense has to happen off screen, because otherwise this world building is just fucking insane. The legal world of the MCU is fucking wild. I miss I miss Daredevil, man. Wait, but it, but if it were to make sense, that means they likely reinstated a new ankle monitor on him slash inhibitor. That he found a way to then... bypass off screen so that in episode nine he could actually turn into a bomb. Yeah, so he could change into a bomb. <laughs> Basically, we're head cannoning. We're basically head cannoning an entire show between the actual events that happen on screen, so that things can actually well, make sense. Well, I I have to. So if I had to give an explanation on how he malfunctioned there, uh, I guess he did it through the electric fence again because that's how he did it the first time. Yeah, but surely they would ask him how it happened the first time so that they can, you know, get preventative measures. And if it happens a second time, they. Either uh, he'd be in big trouble by doing it, or he'd have to have a very good case, a very good alibi for why it happened again, and it wasn't his fault, it was an accident. Because, you know, he is out on parole. I also don't believe that an electric fence can trip this. I'm not gonna lie to yeah, you. Yeah, uh, how, how is it supposed to trip? And I'm confused as well. I, uh, She-Hulk, everyone. This show... The show. Mm-hmm. I was actually, I was actually mm-hmm. asking an actual question, Jeb. Like, how is it supposed? It's just like electricity, and it's, that it causes it to like it, short circuit or something. In theory, it would cause it to basically overload and malfunction. But an electric fence wouldn't be able to do that because the inhibitor casing um, is a conductive. Yeah, I would imagine it wouldn't conduct- be because otherwise it would uh, be dangerous and kill a mill. Yeah, but because it's like, otherwise, it's yeah, it'd be, it'd be conducting electricity through his body and fucking cause him to be shocked. <laughs> so, but it's yeah. like malf. God damn it! Who's going? You go, Matt. I'm going. You go. It's like it's like malfunctioning on a level where it wouldn't notify the authorities that it malfunctioned. It just well, malfunctions. Well, the first time it so is, but the back. second time it isn't. I guess because it's it's not ever mentioned. I guess that he to the authorities that but, he is turning again after episode 7. But this this is all assuming that he actually did get a, a different ankle <laughs> monitor the first time, which there's no confirmation of. This is headcanon. Uh, 
As far as so we maybe know, he just didn't get another one. Yeah, as far as we know, oh, he just didn't me. get another one. And the, the and, and the it, parole board is like, fine, you know, who cares? It's all like he's a matter of fucking and, national security. You know, a person who can turn into a big ass green monster and destroy all of Harlem like he did fourteen years ago. But it also means that it hasn't got anti-tampering systems because obviously he would have to remove it, otherwise he would shatter it if it becomes abomination. Yes. It's also, I, I would imagine if, like, surely if, if there's a thing like this that it would, like, uh, if there's a danger that it would malfunction, if, if it malfunctioning would cause a matter of, like, national security, surely it would also work to, like, administer some kind of anesthetic or something, like, to, to get, to knock uh, tranquilizer, is that the word, to knock a meal out so that he can, can't turn into uh, abomination while they're going to get him wherever he is and uh, change his ankle monitor, probably. Remember? Remember, they have Stark tech available to them. Yeah. Okay. I, I was about to say, I, how... So they have technology at the prison where they kept him. They have, like, that laser gate that somehow, like, opens up around a person. Remember when Jen yeah, walks through? Yeah, it is a very and, like, weird the lasers gate. go up and they stop. They, like, they can, like, like, suspend a fucking light an saber, air, yeah. which doesn't... Uh, whatever. That, yeah. that That's a thing. They have the technology for that, but not for an ankle monitor that can't be uh, bypassed by a fucking electric fence. Yeah, this is fucking retarded. <laughs> <sighs> fucking hell, this show. So, <laughs> but then you've got to consider this, these whole events that we saw, Abomination, Titania, and Hulk. At least with um, Abomination, okay, it's at his place. How is Titania getting here? Because to have her control, like, come here to fight, she has to have a reason. Same for Hulk. Hulk even more so. Because well, he comes from the fucking sky. Yeah, and that's the fucking weird thing, because um, Jen mentions it as being like, hey, this is bad writing, and then she goes into the Marvel Studios, into Marvel Studios, talks to Kevin, and is like, this is bad, because they're all just showing up randomly. And I'm like, yeah, this doesn't make sense. And Kevin's just like, no, because we need to tie up these loose ends. And it's like, Okay, but am I supposed to think that just because the writers are writing it, it's not there's not supposed to be a reason for all these characters showing up out of fucking nowhere at the same place? Because like this isn't just you're just acknowledging that your writing is bad. You're not actually doing anything to like make it good. You're just being like it doesn't need to make sense because because it's all written, it's all made up. And overwriting yeah. the bad writing with even worse writing. Yeah, that's basically genius. Basically what they're doing, yeah. I so I, I don't I, just, I wanted the fucking fight scene fuck it. I mean it's the, better the, than the... I've accepted I I'm accepting the the writing is shit. Just give me a cool fight I guess. <laughs> Something I guess. It's just it's just like in my head I'm thinking you're complaining about everything you've read and you're making this a giant waste of time. Why have you wasted my time, show? <laughs> I'm like sorry, Tim you pointed can't... out it's it's the rematch for Abomination and Hulk. Yeah. Fourteen like that, years. That, that's that's something. It's like a it's, it's surface level. They just sh they just show up and start fighting. But whatever, fuck it. Give me a cool fight. I just, I my brain can't fathom that you make Hulk go to Sakaar, have him nowhere in the show, and then you're like, shit, we need to tie up this loose end. Shit, how are we gonna do this? And no, then Jen is like, oh, we don't need to, him. we don't need to tie it up. And then he just shows up with a son. He's like, oh. Wait, are you actually tying it up or not? Whatever. It's gonna don't be a. Do it's gonna happen later. So you don't it doesn't pay off. Yeah, oh. but you see, Jeb, the show acknowledges that it doesn't need to pay off things it's set up, so it's fine. That that's what good writing is. It's like the thing is that this the, the idea in of itself of a writer writing something and they're like making fun of how people expect all these conclusions. That's a creative thing, and that's why I think people latch onto this episode. But they forget this isn't how it's executed in the slightest. I just saw Jeb's tweet. Yeah, should do we? Did we talk about that at all? Besides reacting to it in the moment about how she just beats up people just she, doing she, their jobs at Marvel Studios, and it's supposed to be like cool and upbeat. Yeah, it's, it's triumphant. Like she's just a fucking monster. She, 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 she's she's beating up the there. people that are ruining her show, but it is her show. She's taking command. What a powerful woman. She's taking command she... by giving them people brain damage. Exactly. The, not, not just brain damage. The guy's dead. Yeah, she's fucking <laughs> smashed his head and yeah. it fucking 
caved in the concrete. <laughs> she uh, right after she fucking broke his arm as well. It's just like hey. Yeah, and she she punches him right in the stomach. He's... But no blood as well with that scene. Oh. It's really funny. Classic Marvel. And she it would be it's like they're trying to do the Deadpool thing, but like Deadpool killing writers that are writing him is actually incredibly in character really funny because he doesn't care yes. he doesn't have a sense of morality it's why in um deadpool kills the marvel universe when he kills the writers at the end you're like this makes sense deadpool is that unhinged when it's she hulk at the end of her show i don't think she i don't think she would beat up any of these people who are just doing their jobs like I don't, I don't understand. I can control my anger, my ass. Yeah, and it's like, uh, can she actually, like, uh, uh, can these people do anything to her? She's a she-hulk. Just fucking walk. Like, ahead. They can't stop you. You're a six foot seven fucking giant green uh, monster with, like, super strength. It's like they went, you know what, we're gonna have, like, tiny dips of fourth wall throughout the show. They're like, shit, we need more fourth wall. We'll save it all here. Ten minute sequence, why not? Yeah, it's funny in, um, in episode 3, Madvocate and I were talking about the fourth wall when you interrupted us, Jeb. Be like, I don't care about the fourth wall. I How thought it was like it? simple fourth wall breaking. Yeah, that's what I, I mean. I don't Fleet care about the fourth wall breaking. I do, We've Jeb. Got more pressing. We've got a more pressing issue right now. You see, you, should, you shouldn't listen to me and Madvocate because uh, you should have cared about the fourth wall. It ultimately solved the mm -hmm. entire conflict of the show. <sighs> and destroyed world building. Yep. Uh, but, like, it, this is the thing I'm saying, like, this is, like, low-key level, because it is actually genuinely saying she hope can break yeah. out of the universe and talk to the writers and change things. And uh, Kevin said, oh, we fixed the glitch that allowed you to leave. Like, okay. You will not be able to access the KEVIN again. What? That error on our platform has been fixed. Why was supposed to believe this? And why? Because, like, she can still break the fourth wall after that, right? She does break the fourth wall. I smash fourth walls and bad ending. And sometimes Matt Murdock. Shut yeah. up. Cosmonaut Variety Hour says it's entirely in character and it's in the comics. Oh, it's You're in the comics. I didn't know that it's in the comics. Okay, <laughs> that's fine. I compl No, this is actually a really good show. We'll just introduce this apparent glitch in which only you can do full full breaks. But then this glitch will come up again because we're doing Deadpool 3. So, good luck with that. Yeah, Deadpool 3. I hope that what they do in Deadpool 3 is through it remaining on its own universe. Um, and if it does go into the MCU, it doesn't actually go into the MCU. It's like a parody version of the MCU. Like if you fucking, it kind of like a Deadpool kills the Marvel Universe thing, where it's like it's is it it's on its own timeline. It's not the six one six timeline. It's obviously its own contained thing, because you know I kind of don't want Deadpool. Firstly, to be part of this larger world building shit, because I don't think he's a character that fits with having all these characters fighting actually world ending threats. When the entire point is like. He just doesn't care. He just does what the fuck he wants. He's just a merc with a mouth. He's like, you know, he wants to make money, get bitches, and fucking kill people. He just doesn't fit with the rest of the vibe of the MCU. But also, just because if they introduce another fourth wall breaking character, it's just gonna break the world building even more. Which was already weird in um, She Hulk in the beginning, but after she actually breaks out of the fourth wall, she breaks the fourth wall in the sense that she talks to the writers. It's like, maybe. This is a bit too much. So anyway, yeah, She-Hulk was a great she -Hulk show. She-Hulk finale was good. Yeah, Jeb, mm -hmm. how much did you, how much did you like the show? You're the only one who watched it from beginning to end. Um, uh, I, I, I keep saying this about the late MCU shows. I think because, what if I think I said it for, but I'd rather watch Loki. I, <laughs> I, I easily it's. It's not because Loki's better, it's just, fuck me, this is a disaster. It's pointless, it adds nothing, it causes its own issues, it plays about them. It's morally fucked, it mocks your visual effects artist. Jen is a terrible character. Jen is the perfect ammunition for the Phantom Menace. Jen can die as a character. <laughs> I, wouldn't, I wouldn't feel bad. I imagine I just, if, she, if she's in Daredevil <clears throat> Born Again, that'll be... She is, She will be. There's oh. no doubt about it. Do you think she's actually going to break the fourth wall in mm. that, or are we going to see from Matt's I, perspective, I guess? I, 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 I'd be You're going to forget she has that power, just like they will in the King Dynasty. Oh, yeah. And we're getting a season two. We're getting a season two. Yay. Uh, I, Unless I, they address what, what Wong did... again. I'm very happy with never watching She-Hulk again. Um, 
God, it's I can't like, wait for the defense where it's like, well, she can't she can't just kill Kang by breaking the fourth wall. Otherwise, the movie ends and there's no cool action and cool movie. And it's like that's literally what they did in this fucking show. Yeah, <laughs> this should this should be a simple premise. This is how you do the premise, and this is how I would. Uh, Jen is a starting lawyer. She's just become one. Her life's turned upside down because of the accident. And she has to learn how to cope with these new whole powers while trying to learn how to be a lawyer. Daredevil's obviously a mentor in some form. Hulk's a mentor on the other side. And she becomes her own hero and is a neighborhood hero. It's a simple story, quite effective. No, I have not a do solution that. actually. In uh, some future installment where She Hulk and Deadpool cross over, they should have a fight in like the fourth wall. Or whatever you would call it, the fourth dimension, whatever. <laughs> but they have a fight, and then Deadpool kills her. <laughs> please, please. That's how we solve the problem. You use the fourth <laughs> wall just... as like the astral plane, and the... yeah, basically, it's <laughs> another dimension. Sure. It's nothing to like about this character. There's actually nothing to like. The actress she's is not what? even a good lawyer. She's not. She she got bested by Daredevil like fucking so easily. I mean, just, one thing uh, that I've seen people say is just like, Jen is a terrible lawyer, but they make other people around her stupider just so that she can actually win the <laughs> cases because the writing is just that bad. They don't know how to write legal drama. It's just so bizarre. Yeah. Fuck that guy for thinking he was dating the real Megan Thee Stallion. Yeah, this person... Just always... because she looked exactly like her and... and she sounded exactly like her. Yeah. Yeah piece of shit it's like what a fucking idiot it's so simple it's like hey someone could be dating mega the stallion why not him he better they're going out it's like what why would he not believe it there's no reason to say this <laughs> it's like oh this person only looks exactly like the person she says she is man wh why should i believe it's not her like it, it's not like a fucking catfishing someone like online like you're pretending to be a celebrity because it's online you can't see them face to face but they actually went out with her for like two months but it's like, no, he's too dumb. Yeah. He's too self-centered. That's why Fuck he thought for oh, believing that. Yeah. Oh, no. I just had, like, the perfect idea. Go on. And they didn't do it. So, obviously, she's struggling to be a hero and a lawyer. Then that's when Abomination comes in. Abomination wants specifically her um, because um, of a recommendation from Bruce. Bruce wants to test her. So she has this high-profile case. And that's how people start hearing of She-Hulk. And that's when she gets all the threats from it and from like people online and also criminals. Then now she's got a target on her back, and it makes it even harder. She has to overcome that challenge, and she can hold Bruce accountable for that. That would be great characterization for all of them. But no, I mean this is that that's kind of just a um I guess a comedic version of the way they start Daredevil. With uh, Matt and uh, Foggy taking Karen's case and that putting a target on their back because of a Union allied and a uh, Fisk. But uh, obviously it would be with Hulk. Oh, Tin died. I don't understand what this show wanted. To, why? Like, if you wanted an interpersonal story of Jen, why the fuck are we wasting time on, like, Donnie Blaze? The only episode that actually did an introspection Aww. was The Retreat. That was infuriating. How she's complaining about wasting time on other plot, uh, other plot points. Meanwhile, two whole episodes dedicated to Wong's bullshit. Well, and it's funny because, like, in the wedding retreat episode, it seems like she's like proud of how the uh the wedding retreat, the wedding episode. Uh, and sometimes it seems like she's proud of the episode wasting the viewers' time. Being like, hey, you know, if you think yeah. the the like uh this episode is like poorly timed and inconvenient, that's what weddings are. They're always like that but at the end she's like oh no actually i didn't want to waste time uh even though i probably said that we were wasting time in episode one uh like i don't i don't get it like what is her character what is her view on her own tv show let's break episode one she got her powers episode two what was episode two episode two we didn't watch episode two only you did i don't remember what what was episode two i i don't remember a thing about episode two. Hold on, let let me check IMDb. This is how bad this show is. I can't <laughs> remember a thing of this episode. Um, 
Hold what on. Happened? Episode guide. Episode two. Superhuman law. Jen is hired at a prestigious law firm, but must practice as she whole can wrap a complicated client. Oh, that's when she first talks to Emil, right? Because uh, she, she hears about his case, oh, about yeah. him going out on parole. And then episode three is when we actually like have her defending his case of going out on parole. Because then he so did far we. And then we have the Wonk stuff. Yeah, we do the Donny Blaze episode. Oh, and, and then, then there's the episode where she's sued for using the for the copyright of the name She-Hulk, which makes absolutely no sense. Then it's the wedding there's episode. The, then it's there's the, the mega retreat. Tea, there's the Mega T signing episode and the depressed hero that escapes from conflict due to a mental health issue and they mock him all the way through. Amazing. Thank you, show. I had you complaining yeah. about your shitty writing. Who are the writers? I'm going to say fuck you to each one passionately. Who wrote each episode? You're all getting Jessica Gale, fuck you. Francesca Gales, fuck you. Jacqueline J. Gales, fuck you. <laughs> Melissa Hunter, fuck you. Dana Schwartz, fuck you. Cara Brown, fuck you. Zeb Wells, fuck you. You have too many writers here. Piss off. Um, Cody Ziggler, <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> Seven writers. Why do you have that many? Seven. One, two, three, four, Je five. Six. Who the fuck is Jessica Gow? I gotta know. I oh, gotta she, know who she this... wrote a really good episode actually of uh, Rick and Marty, but I don't know. The writing, the writers Bad room Harmon. should be called Seven Writers, One Brain Cell. <laughs> oh, she did Kung Fu Panda: Legends of Awesomeness. Okay. Well, that apparently was. Oh, she did Big Time Rush. Who's <laughs> a yo? Oh. Lab she did Disney XD well. stuff. Oh, yeah. Robot chicken, whatnot. What? But yeah, she she wrote the Pico Rick episode of Rick and Morty, which is unironically one of the best. Uh, but I don't know how. I just, probably Dan Harmon is key to that. Well, truthfully, I do. I wouldn't say probably. I'd say one hundred percent because like Michael Waldron used to write for Rick and Morty, <laughs> and uh, when he comes to the MCU, it's like hmm. Uh, many That's other funny because every Rick time I movies. hear about the Pickle Rick episode, it's always cited as like one of the worst. Oh yeah, people are retarded. People think it's cr oh, okay. just yeah. People think say it's cringy because uh, the Pickle Rick when it's like at a, actually one of the best episodes in terms of character writing and it's fucking hilarious. Basically, he reenacts a, a, a John Wick style episode as a pickle as he fucking uh, enters like a fucking Russian facility by accident because he's flushed down a toilet. Uh, by accident. Well, no, first down to he goes down to sewers by accident because of a uh, rain. So no, 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 Master Ugwe I'm... said there are no accidents. <laughs> I'm re I'm reading the production. <laughs> yeah, Dan Harmon had heavy involvement, and she didn't come up with the idea of Rick turning himself into a, pe a pickle. Well, that's not the the great part of the episode. Him turning himself into a pickle is kind of funny, but the good thing about the episode is they. The way it characterizes everyone in terms of the family therapy shit. Which might have been her yeah. idea, but the thing is, with Dan Harmon, he has a huge part in uh, redrafting and writing, like, most of the scenes of these episodes, even when they're written, like, the, the he gets, like, the credits are for other people, you know. But it's like, I, I'm pretty sure the WandaVision writer also worked on Rick and Morty. So, you mentioned the therapy. That's the highlight. Yes. Well... That was because Harmon was undergoing a divorce, apparently, which influenced the episode. Oh. So, so, so it yeah, Harman. it was mostly then Harmon. Shocker. Uh, Lexi, Jack Schaefer, did she work on Rick and Morty? Am I misremembering? I'm misremembering. There's another... No, but she wrote Black Widow, and Black Widow is a masterpiece. That's true. But no, there is another MCU writer which has worked on Rick and Morty and who has done shit recently. I should remember who. Right, I'm actually going to head out because I got to take a PP. Wow. Um, and I gotta set up for uh, get ready for a stream. Oh, you're streaming you today, watch. fun. Uh, yeah, you can talk about She Hulk in your stream, just praise the show. Tell him, back. no thanks. <laughs> All right, well, <laughs> let me just send the recording then. So, yeah, people, thank you very much for watching. Yeah, uh, we love this show. Uh, we watch this for your entertainment, and I hope you are entertained. I we didn't actually love this show, I'm afraid, but uh, yeah. <laughs> We'll catch y'all next Barry time. Would, Twitter Barry would call this uh, reaction probably like a 9.5 out of 10 <laughs> or a 10 out of 10 because it's entertaining. Mm. It was for entertainment. Exactly. And that's, that's key to good writing. Yeah, 10 uh, leaving uh, was just for drama because she knows we need drama mm -hmm. for entertainment. You're, so. 
Yeah. You were you were on about Jeff Love knows who he's doing Ant Man Three. Oh, that's probably it. Well, anyway, yeah, we'll catch y'all next time, folks. Good boy. Yeah. Bye bye. Fuck you. Oh. You must first transform back to Jennifer. You are very expensive, but wait until the camera is off you. The visual effects team has moved on to another project. And I think that, oh, if I'm self-aware about being a douchebag, it, 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 it'll somehow make me less of a douchebag. But it, but it doesn't. Um, self-awareness does not absolve anybody of, of anything.